Hello and welcome to our channel. If you're here, it's presumably because your entrepreneurial aspirations are suffering due to the present economic cold. It's a challenging moment for new firms, whether it's due to excessive inflation or supply chain challenges. Yet, entrepreneurship and a downturn in the economy aren't always diametrically opposed. On the other hand, there are still many opportunities to launch a business, especially amid a recession that is about to hit. We've conducted extensive research to identify the top recession-proof company ideas for you in order to restore hope to your inner entrepreneur. In addition, we've talked to companies that have thrived despite challenging economic conditions to provide you with even more motivation. Finally, we'll let you leave this page with some useful advice on how to use recession-proof tactics to safeguard your startup or running firm. Recessions are widespread, protracted declines in economic activity. Practically speaking, this implies that fewer individuals spend money, which has the effect of reducing production and exchange of products. In what ways does this affect SMEs? Not usually good news. A recession typically results in lower sales and earnings for businesses of all shapes and size. Small businesses, however, may be more at risk during a recession because they lack the extra funding that large companies have to cover protracted periods of loss. Layoffs, red numbers in your account books, and hiring freezes are just a few of the consequences that would make any business owner shudder. According to figures from the ONS, SMEs in the UK have been experiencing difficulty. What we do know is this. 16% of companies with 10 or more employees reported having encountered disruptions in the global supply chain in December 2022. In January 2023, 28% of companies with 20 or more employees said they were having trouble finding workers, while 40% said they couldn't keep up with demand. Insolvencies of all companies in England and Wales rose to their highest quarterly level since 2009 in 2022. Simply said, one that has a fixed price. In other words, it's likely that consumers will continue to seek the goods and services connected with these recession-proof ideas, regardless of how bad the economy becomes. Let's focus in to see why. In light of this, the following are some of the top recession-proof business venture ideas you might want to think about. Food's price inelasticity is not surprising, so shop for groceries. Everyone needs to eat, regardless of whether they have a lot of money to spend or are watching their pennies. Hence, even during economic downturns, a grocery store firm is likely to do reasonably well. While many adults may cut back on their own spending, it's unlikely that they will be sparing with their children. This includes childcare and baby items. Demand for infant products from diapers to baby formula remains largely consistent even during times of unfavorable economic swings. Healthcare is a business that is considered to be defensive, much like food. No matter how the economy is doing, individuals will still be concerned about their health. In times of economic uncertainty, the healthcare sector is ripe with profitable business opportunities, whether it is in medicines or at home medical services. Education is always in demand, no matter what the state of the economy, whether you're providing services to parents who want their children to do well in their A-levels or to someone who lost their job and wants to earn an online certification. Repairs whether it's home or car repairs, most individuals typically lack the craftsmanship to do it themselves. If you have specialist knowledge in any area and are skilled at imparting your skills to others, this could be a smart bet. So, even during a recession, you will undoubtedly need repairs if your house has a leak or your cos engine is producing odd churning noises. Alcohol is a guilty pleasure industry that often does well even as the nation's economy starts to sputter. This includes beer, wine and liquor. Even while this is by no means a healthy habit, some people use it as a coping method. Thus there is always a business opportunity. Confectionery. At first glance, you could assume that candy has a very stable pricing. You don't really need sweets, after all. Even though the economy is uncertain, people may still turn to their preferred comfort foods, which for many will be sweets. Interesting fact. During the Great Depression of the 1920s, Hershey's sales increased. Pet products. Despite the common misconception that people's pets are their children, the same economic principles that apply to childcare items also apply to pet products. This is a possible recession-proof business enterprise because people will still need to buy dog food and pay for their vet bills no matter how tight their budget is. 
Accounting and financial counseling go together really naturally. Many turn to financial experts for assistance when they are having trouble getting by during a recession. It will be simple to market yourself to folks asking for assistance in navigating the tumultuous economic waters if you have the necessary tools and knowledge. Although this one can appear illogical at first, fewer people buy products, hence there is less use in marketing. Digital marketing firms' flexibility and scalability enable them to quickly adjust to challenging economic conditions. Because you only deal with your workers and not with stock, you are protected against supply chain disruptions. Additionally, some businesses may hire individuals for their in-house marketing team and seek to outsource to an agency, which is where you come in. No one enjoys living in conditions that are close to filth, whatever how poorly the Bank of England claims that the British economy is performing. With the COVID-19 pandemic, hygiene in particular became extremely important, and as a result, professional and residential cleaning services have increasingly gotten more expensive. Also, the demand for household cleaners has expanded due to the expansion of hybrid working. Overall, it's a good choice for a corporation that can weather a recession. Dropshipping in a downturn, you could be enticed to launch an online store since there is no associated rent. There are, however, ways to reduce costs even further. With dropshipping, you can order the products you are selling in advance or have them on hand, saving you money on storage. All you have to do is purchase goods from a third party, often a wholesaler, and charge a price higher than the original store in order to turn a profit. Because of its low overhead costs, this is excellent during economic downturns. While there are many historical instances of companies that have prospered during recessions, such as Hershey's or Pure Gym, here are several startup companies that are now experiencing rapid growth. The car management app Cora Cora does it all. You may now do all of your tasks in one location rather than switching between many websites and apps, including MOT payments and insurance. This straightforward concept has won the top spot on our startup's 100 Index 2023 and received £4 million in financing from Lloyds Banking Group. Dr. Silakshmi discussed finding business concepts that succeed in a downturn with startups. He says, it's always about identifying a problem statement that impacts a lot of people, number one, and number two, developing a solution that helps all of these people better manage whatever that is, and that's what we've successfully done with Cora. Also, Cowra's referral program has made it simpler to adjust to the new economic environment. In order to save money, Lakshmi explains, we may give those advertising revenue to our users if they promote their friends and family to the platform. Currently, Cora is the only platform where you may reduce the cost of your insurance to zero dollars by making enough referrals. Apostolics of Pastor Pastor Evangelists, which is currently ranked 11th in the startup's 100 index for 2023, has captured the attention of customers despite their perceived financial hardship. Deliveries and pasta kits could seem more like a luxury during hard times financially. Although we are headed into a recession, people will still want to celebrate a special occasion with the restaurant experience, but they may be looking to do this in a more reasonable way, says Finn Largon, co-founder of Pasta Evangelists, in an interview with startups. Hence, at-home experiences save money on expenses like transportation, childcare, and corkage, all of which are connected to eating out at a restaurant. Pasta evangelists have discovered new business opportunities despite the current economic downturn. To establish a brand new fresh pasta takeaway idea on pastaevangelists.com, Finn says, we have taken advantage of the increase in the takeaway sector and the arrival of new technology, such as revolutionary food ordering software. With this idea, Pasta aficionados all over London may order an Italian takeout straight from their neighbourhood pasta evangelists' restaurant. Blooming Station for more than 20 years. Flower Station has offered same-day flower delivery. Some downtown London stores are open 24 7 and despite the great financial crisis of 2008 and the present slump, it is still one of the UK's top destinations for flower delivery making client service a priority and keeping an eye on our budget to react to these changes affecting our business, according to Flower Station CEO David Cohen, is the key to their success. We talked to several of our actual recession-proof business examples to find out how they managed to ride the wave rather than get swept away by it. Reduce your expenses as much as you can. Although cutting expenditures during a recession seems relatively obvious, 
It's as important to maintain your composure if you manage to secure a lot of funding. For instance, even if Cowra's £4 million investment from Lloyd's Banking Group is undoubtedly good news for the driving app, CEO Lakshmi disclosed that the team won't be expanding significantly. Keep your eye on and remain committed to your basic mission. There are always all these extra bells and whistles that people want to think about thinking about constructing and working on, says the CEO of Cora. But when things aren't fantastic, it's good to just get your core proposition burning on all cylinders. Find the areas where major brands are making cuts and fill the void. The recession presents a window of opportunity, according to pastor evangelists. We would advise business owners to regard recessions as window of opportunity for challenger brands to flourish. Challenger brands can increase their ingenuity and embrace guerrilla marketing while larger brands reduce their advertising budgets. Recognize client requirements and behavioral trends. Pastor evangelists advise an omnicanal approach to spending, particularly when it comes to events. In a post-pandemic society, this feeds the desire for in-person experiences among consumers. According to the CEO, we are heavily investing in our Pastor Academy, for instance, with goals to boost our events business threefold in 2023, based on the success we've experienced in 2022. To maximize your marketing initiatives, in light of the impending recession, David Cohen from Flower Stations provided us some advice on how to keep your business thriving. He suggests focused first on the target consumer. Marketing targeting customers who have already started the purchase process is more cost-effective and generates more leads, according to the article, which also says that it involves establishing buyer personas and directing your marketing message towards them. Today, it might be daunting to read the news as a business owner. It's not an easy time to be pursuing your entrepreneurial aspirations, whether it's due to reports of growing inflation or bankruptcies. Yet it's not a requirement that it be the case. You'll be on a clearer route to business stability if you can find a price inelastic business venture that will provide items and services that every consumer requires or consistently reaches for. To keep in mind that choosing one of the suggestions on this page does not guarantee that your business will be successful. To improve your position, you should continue to be careful with your spending and look for gaps in the particular industry. Thank you for watching and remember to let us know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe.